what's up y'all and welcome back to the channel and today is move-in day well actually we've already moved in for the most part so y'all come on in the cave let's see what we got now we'll, we'll stop right here i told y'all i was not going to show you my set until i was completely through with it and for the most part it's done but it is lacking some things that go to it but all of that stuff is at the taxidermist and I don't have it yet. So you're just going to, have to see it for what it is right now. And then as I get those things back from the taxidermy, it will be completed. But I don't know how much longer that may be. And I'm eager to get things going out here. So we're just going to have to roll with it for now. So come on inside. Let's check out this place. Let me shut the door behind us. All right. This is the set. You can see here. We got, let me get this tripod out of the way. I'll be filming here. I've got an old backpack right here that's going to be hanging. And uh, got some other mounts and all that are going to go here behind me as well. But until then, this is what we're going to have to go with until all that stuff is complete. I went and cut this tree down myself and wrestled this big jugger in here. And let me tell you, ain't as young as I used to be. Let's just put it that way. This thing about got the best of me. She's heavy. But... We got the grass put in here. We kind of got it like a, you know, a flooded timber, marshy type scene thing going on here. So this is the set. Now you look around the walls. There ain't much on the walls in here because I got a whole bunch of mounts at the taxidermist that will be in here. And I just ain't got them back yet. So these walls are pretty bare. Got my computer and uh, desk and everything set up over here. This is where I'll be doing. This is a... Uh, <laughs> This is what I call command central, what I tell Cade. This is where all the editing happens. Everything's going on right here. Got dual monitors. I can work on two screens at a time and be ready to get some stuff done. Printer set over there where I can print hunting licenses, all that kind of stuff. But nobody cares about that and I know that. But just wanted you to see the office area, how this is going, the set, what it's looking like, the progress I've made on that. I told you the TV is going to be up here. I have not got the TV yet. The TV that I want, they don't have them in the store. And I could order it online. They've got them online. But I'm, I'm just, I have bad luck with ordering fragile objects. Every time I order something like that, it comes back damaged. So I'm just waiting until they get some more in stock in the store. And the TV, DVD player, all that type of stuff will be up there for my entertainment while I'm out here editing and, you know, whatever else I may do out here. But uh, this is an old couch we had. It's in storage. It kind of looks bad. We're going to get a cover and put over it. It's just somewhere, you know, if I'm out here doing some editing, whatever it may be, Kate or Wildman, Rachel, my wife, whoever can come out here and flop down and just, you know, hang out with me. They got somewhere to sit. Same goes for this old coffee table. It was in storage. We just got it out and put it in here for them to somewhere to prop up their feet, set a cup down, whatever it may be. You can see on the table, we've been eating pizza. We've been out here working most of the day moving stuff in so we got pizza boxes out here but uh y'all come on down the hallway i'll show you some pictures of stuff we got in here from this past season and some other things this picture right here was taken of me and Cade in arkansas and it was taken by jake with um, chasing green if you've ever watched the chasing green channel you know who jake is but he took this photo of Cade and i in arkansas and uh, we had a pretty decent morning that morning. That's, that's not all the birds we had. That's just the ones we had in our hands walking out. He turned around, snapped the photo. But a uh, really good picture of Cade. It's actually my favorite picture of me and Cade. And uh, so we had it blown up pretty big and, and put right here in this main little editing room. Oh, yeah, and as well as the duck cave sign, if you didn't notice it before, it's set up over there above my computer monitor. So it's right here in the heart of the room over there against the wall so if you wonder where the duck cake sign is it's in here come down the hallway we'll check out these other photos i got this sign you've seen the sign before a good friend of mine made this for me a long time subscriber he made this sign for me we got it right here as you walk in the door down this side we got a picture of myself jake from chasing green and the aiden the golden boy from freelance duck hunting or and his now he has a channel called Cherry Creek Outdoors. It was really nice to meet those guys and hunt with them. I've been watching them for a long time on YouTube before I ever had my channel. So it was, you know, just a really good time we spent up there in Arkansas with those two guys right there. 
This photo is uh, myself and Glenn from Chasing Green. If you watch, you know if you watch them, you know Glenn. You don't see Glenn a lot. He's behind the camera a lot. So that's Glenn. We was in the timber that day. Killed a few mallards and a pintail. And uh, this same photo is of uh, the three of us, myself, Jake, and Glenn. Someone snapped that photo. We were wading through the timber. Actually, we, we, we had been hunting that morning. We decided to pick up, move to another spot, and the guy snapped that photo. We were actually hunting with the High and Dry Waiter guys, the guys that own the company High and Dry Waiters. We were hunting with them that weekend, and one of those guys turned around and snapped that photo as we were <laughs> walking through the timber, and it was, turned out to be a pretty cool photo. This one here was taken of me setting a long line um, this was photo was taken by True Southern Waterfowlers, and uh, didn't know my picture was being made. I was just, you know, setting a long line. I think, actually, I think I was moving it to be exact. But anyway, that photo was snapped by them and turned out to be a really good photo. So we had that one kind of get like 11 by 14 of that. Same photo here that I had of me. We got one of Cade with Jake and Aiden, the golden boy, once again in Arkansas. This photo was taken down at the Alabama Bayou, saltwater marsh area. We had a big collab hunt this year uh, with myself, Derek from Magnolia Flyways, and um, Landon from the Quack Addicts, and that's his buddy Cole, I believe was his name. And then there's Alex from True Southern Waterfowlers, an old wild man standing down there in front of me. Cade was not featured in this photo because he took the photo, so Cade missed out on that one. And this one, uh, was one of the hunts that you know in Arkansas with with Jake and the Golden Boy. One pretty good morning we had the timber, killed a few mallards and a, a lot of wood ducks. Really turned into a pretty good woody swat. But uh, either way, we had a good time hunting with those guys and uh, it made some good memories, made some long-term friendships. So we had a lot of fun with that. Just a few. There's more photos coming in out here. I just haven't gotten them all framed and got them out here yet. So there'll be more added, you know, as we go along. But down the hallway, the, I had a couple of mounts in the office before. I'm sure you've seen them in some of the live streams, some of the videos, the bucklehead and that. Uh, he was, it's, a, it's a redhead drake, but he's, he's a young redhead drake. He don't have his full black plumage on his neck and upper chest area. So we got him down here at the back of the hallway. But uh, the gear room, we've been moving stuff into the gear room. We have got stuff everywhere. We got waders hung up. We got mojo backpacks on the wall. Decoys stacked every which way. Marsh stools. My Dr. Duck flyway backpack blind bag thing is hung up here. Uh, another marsh seat like you using like a, a layout blind or something like that. I got that. Two HTR innovations. Gun stands, marsh stands, whatever they call those things. And uh, got this big shelf back here with the Black Belt Waterfowl t-shirts. I had way more of these t-shirts and ever since I announced the launch of the website which is below in the description i've got a link below to the black belt waterfowl website in the description so if you'd like to pick up a shirt please click the link in the description and go down there and pick you one up all of the shirts purchased on the channel directly affect and benefit the channel so i really appreciate that the support but those things have been flying out of here i don't have a whole lot left i've got 2x um extra large large and medium is all i've got left so if you want one Links in the description. I got decoys in. I have decided this year that I'm going to go all Dakota packable with my mallards. I've got the Dakota um, <clears throat> flocked head drakes, you know, the, just the hard plastic ones. And I also have a dozen of the packables. Well, I really, really like them. They're way a lot easier to fool with, with walk-in hunting and traveling and things like that. So I decided to get another dozen of them. And with that being said, that brings up the giveaway, which most of you, that's what you're here for right now. Anyway, you want to know what is Alan giving away? Well, let me tell you. If you look right here, I'm going to give away, I'm going to give away my Dakotas. Now, they, they've only, they're only a year old. I hunted with them for one season. You look at the flocking, the flocking is in good shape. There's nothing wrong with these decoys. They may have a little mud on them here and there, but for the most part, they're in really good shape. They have the swivel heads. <clears throat> you can position the heads however you may or may not want them. doesn't matter. It's a dozen of them. I think it's uh, seven drakes and five hens, I think is what it is. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to be giving away my Dakota decoy mallards. So, those things are like 
two hundred dollars a set for a dozen. They're like well, they're like one eighty something with tax. You're gonna look at two hundred bucks for a dozen of those decoys, and I'm gonna give them away to somebody on this video all you've got to do is be a subscriber you've got to subscribe to the channel so if you haven't already hit that subscribe button tap the notification bell so you get notified anytime I post a video and you also have to like this video and drop a comment below telling me why you think you should win these decoys tell me why you think you should be the winner are you a longtime subscriber are you a faithful viewer do you not have any decoys whatever it may be you drop a comment below and tell me why you think you should be the winner of these decoys and make sure you touch that notification bell and that subscribe button and I am going to check to see if you are a subscriber. So that is the giveaway. If you want to win that, you know what to do. Hit the, hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, drop the comment down below. Let me know why you need those decoys. But we got a lot more stuff that's got to come out here. I can't wait for all my mounts to come back. I've actually got, I think the total count was 14 birds. I've got 14 birds at the taxidermist, and I'm waiting to get those back. Some of those are for the set. The rest of them are just decor, you know, in the editing room and down the hallway and other places like that. I've got some other photos I've got to get the frames for. And then we will be wrapping up what little bit is left for the cave. So... But anyway, y'all let me know what you think about this place. How you, you know, if there's anything you think maybe I should add out here. If, if you've got something you want to send to have put in here, have featured in here, my address, well, my P.O. box is in the description below. Go down there, jot that down, send it to me. I'd love to have it. Like this sign right here. I had a good, uh, good faithful subscriber, viewer, make this sign for me as well as the duct cake sign. And I appreciate that stuff so much. <clears throat> I've got some other little things in here that I um, kind of collected along the way. There's little, little small little wood ducks over there on that table. They just, my wife stuck them over there. So, but anything you want to send, P.O. Box in the description. Be sure and send it to me. I would really, really appreciate it. But um, that's all I got for you this week, guys. Good luck on the giveaway. Hit the subscribe button. Tap the notification bell. Drop a comment down below. Let me know why you think you should win those decoys. And until next time. Y'all bust them up.